Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. We're going to discuss further into laws of exponents and now look at the proof for this law, which is a, a times b all to the power of x equals to a to the x times b to the power of x right here. And this is just the fourth law of this video series on general laws of exponents. You could uh, see the proof for the first three in the video links below. Basically, uh, to recap on the general laws of exponents, if x and y are real numbers, and a is greater than zero, then we have a to the power of x plus y equals a to the power of x times a to the y. And if it's a, if it's a minus instead of a plus, then you just divide instead of multiply. And if it's uh, in brackets a to the power of x, um, this is a, then, the, then to the power of y, this is the same thing as writing a to the power of x times y. And now the fourth law, which I'll prove today, basically uh, a, a times b all to the power of x, this can be written as a to the power of x times b to the power of x. Now before I prove this, I'm gonna quickly recall from my previous videos on these proofs on the laws of exponents with the base of the exponential function. This one is in general, which is general of a, which is anything that's greater than zero. Basically, to go over this one, first law is e to the power of x plus y equals e to the power of x times e to the y, the same thing as these, if it's a minus, you divide and now if it's a bracket like this, and you could just put it inside. So these are the first three, um, but the, this is for base E, which I proved in my earlier videos as well. So I also wanna recall basically definition, um, this one right here, uh, in my earlier video on general exponential functions, I proved that A to the power of X equals E to the power of X ln A. Actually, I defined it, I'll show you, you know, make sure to watch that video to understand why I define it like this. And also recall this logarithmic function ln a times b equals to, to ln a plus b. So you add them and you can see the proof in the video link below. So now if we look at the proof, and you know, if we look at the proof uh, of this over here, I'll just write um, I'll write it out first. Uh, law 4, a, b, all to the power of x right here. And then this equals to a to the power of x times b to the power of y. So now, I mean, yeah, I mean b to the power of x, not y. So basically now to prove this, first what we should do is write this down using this definition, and then that simplifies that out, then I'll use this right here to prove it after. Yeah, so if we write this function as using that definition, we'll have a, b, all to the power of x. This equals to, well, it's the same thing as this, but now we could replace the a with a, a and b, and the x, this remains as x. So we'll have it as e to the power of x, times by ln a b. So this is the exact same thing as the definition, just a is now a, a b instead of just a. So we have this part right here. And now we could use the logarithmic uh, law right here and separate this out. So this a and b could uh, expand out like that. So we'll have e to the power of x times by ln a, again this is in bracket, ln a plus ln b right here. Now if we multiply this inside, so we'll go e to the power of x ln a, just basically multiply the x inside there. Then plus, this is gonna be x ln b. Yeah, so now that, we re now that we've got it in this form, what we could do is apply this law right here, um, e to the power of x plus b equals to e to the x times e to the b. We could al also use the first one, this is the exact same thing. This is just a general law for a, anything is greater than zero. This is just a specific for e, but since e is, is a real number greater than zero, just a number greater than zero, it works. These are the same laws, it's just general. So we could write this one out as equaling to e to the power of x ln a times by e to the x ln b right here. So now that we have this part here, now we can look back at the definition, which is here e x ln a equals a to the power of x. And this is e x ln a, so that equals to a to the power of x. That's e x ln a, it's the exact same thing. This one's e x ln b, so it's the exact same thing except the a is replaced with a b. So we just multiply this now by b to the power of x right here. And as, it, as you can see, this is, this is basically um, the proof for it. And this, uh, again, if we put this in here, this equals two a b power of x. Yeah, and basically this is the proof for uh, the law of four. Anyways, uh, hopefully you learned from this quick video, and like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below, or these links right here. And then also, if you make sure to watch earlier videos, the proofs for all of these videos. Anyways, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.